Hi everybody, we're gonna go live and we're gonna try something new this week. So stay tuned for just a second. Hello everybody and welcome to your tipsy edition of Divorcing Mrs. Claus. It's great to have everybody around this week. I, I know that uh, we're going to try something very new here tonight. We're also um, on YouTube so that you're going to get your first look at me behind the voice. Today's tipsy is something that I like to do in between major episodes. And, you know, they're, they're just little tidbits of advice to help you get through the process of separation or divorce. And sometimes they're just little reminders, you know, they're just reminders, little housekeeping for yourself type reminders. So, today's self-care practice tip is this. I'm going to tell you, take care of your physical health and engage in regular exercise. Now, I can hear a lot of people groaning about that, about maintaining regular exercise, and you have some people that that is exactly how they maintain their stress levels. Certainly, I've uh, become a walker, not, uh, not to any professional standard or, or not even to a neighborhood standard yet, but I'm working on it and it's, uh, you know, it's all new, this, this kind of stuff. I haven't, uh, haven't walked in a very long time, you know, but, but then again, separation and divorce brings on a lot of stress and you've got to have a positive way of channeling that stress and one of those positive ways is engaging in regular exercise the other thing is nutrition and for me that was huge um prior to separation i was i was topping out at around 270. i have dropped i i was actually 300 just prior to the separation dropped down to 270 and uh, i must be probably around the 250 mark now, if not a little bit less. Um, and that's because we're not eating Mrs. Claus's cooking. And, you know, you, you've got to go out and buy your own cookies if you want cookies. And, and so, you know, you, you tend to lose a little bit of weight. And it feels good, though. It actually, I, I feel very good, you know. I mean, for a number of years of my life I've been a, a, a 300 pound guy or a heavier guy uh, I was a very neurodiverse and and uh, chubby little kid going to um, elementary school and was always picked on for it you know and and then when I turned to be a teenager that's when I got into bodybuilding and and lost all that weight only to gain it back from my role as Santa Claus which I did as for 20 years professionally. So you, you, of course you had to have the, you had to have the real deal. You know, there was no pillow here and it was, it was only my real stomach. But anyway, I digress. The other thing that you want to be doing that can positively impact your emotional state is practice mindfulness and practice meditation. and practicing mindfulness and meditation in, in your day and is so important and, and it's important from the very beginning of your day and um, certainly if you take a little bit of time in the morning and and you know I was taught by a friend to do the two-hour rule what is the two-hour rule as soon as you wake up you leave yourself two hours before you even go near your phone, uh, before you would even turn your phone on. You're going, you're going to leave it 
and you're going to do your meditation practice for a couple of hours, then you allow yourself to engage in the day. And, you know, one of the things that I want you to keep in mind is that you, I want you going out the door after your short meditation period in the morning, after eating a nutritious breakfast in the morning, wake up early enough that you have time and you're not rushing through any of this. And it may take a, a, a couple of times to really hit the sweet spot, but you'll get it. And eventually you'll have not only enough time, but you'll have time left over. You'll become that fluid at, at doing these practices that I'm talking to you about and the eating and, and all of it. It all goes to a total healthy mind and body that is undergoing a tremendous amount of stress because of the separation or divorce process that you're going through, right? And you're not going to be sleeping well enough. So you want to make sure that However you get to sleep, you get to sleep. What I'm going to say to you is I'm enjoying a nice cup of chaga tea and, uh, and a little bit of cannabis tea mixed in there. So we've got chaga and cannabis. So we've got the cannabis that provide the medical cannabis that provides the calming effect, um, as well as the chaga as you've, as you've heard me say in the chaga videos that I've done. And if you're not understanding what I'm saying, because uh, you're, you know, you're only, um, you're watching for the first time divorcing Mrs. Claus as opposed to just listening to it. Uh, and this, this is what I may end up doing probably for for a little while now because we're having some problems on Spotify and and you know it's something's going on with our technology and it's not allowing me access to do the episodes the regular way so I've created an audio recording on my laptop and I'm doing the YouTube video live at the same time so that people can enjoy divorcing Mrs. Claus and and again, see the face behind what all of this is about. What What is this divorcing Mrs. Claus? And now we've got a face to put to a situation. And um, and certainly my beard was a lot fuller. I've trimmed it down. And uh, since I've retired doing Santa and and uh, so that's that's kind of nice. So we, we're, what I'm trying to do here, and I'm telling you, it's a lot harder than you will, will expect, but small incremental steps are going to lead to huge progress. Don't take big bites of this, of what I'm saying. If you're not used to it, don't take big bites. Take small bites. Start by getting up 10 minutes earlier than you usually do, or even a half hour more than you usually do. But that's gonna mean that you have to go to bed on the other end, go to bed half hour earlier. So you're still getting your full rest. This is so important. Nothing is going to mess you up more under the stress of separation and divorce than not eating right and not sleeping right. And the not sleeping is what's going to get you. It's going to turn you in, into a mush put, puddle brain. So um, you don't want that. So we want to at least uh, in our eating, uh, try to balance out our, our eating. And if you're not a healthy eater by nature, you, you sort of start to start to do that or incorporate it into your diet at somewhere, whether you take a multivitamin even, I mean, anything is better than nothing, right? So um, that's it. So there's some self-care tips for you that I want you to do for you because I'm doing it for me and it seems to be working. You know, listen, if you got a dog, there's no better way to work out yourself and have a great companion that you can talk to and isn't going to you know uh talk back at you that you uh you know say things you don't like um your dog's gonna love you no matter what you talk to him or her about just as jazz my service dog loves me and uh, you know him and i have a lot of conversations and that's what happens when you're by yourself after 30 years but i'll tell you talking to the dog is a great way to 
get what you want to say out and the dog will just love you for whatever you say and whatever you're discussing with them. And people may think you're crazy. People think I'm crazy, but we're all a little crazy. That's called our inner clown. And that's what we've got to kind of let out here is our inner clown. So I'm trying to record this, like I say, on my laptop. I'm going to do the video and the audio for it here on YouTube so you can enjoy it here. If the audio doesn't work out for whatever reason, we're, we're not missing episodes of Divorcing Mrs. Claus. And uh, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed your tipsy moment. And uh, we'll see you on a full-length broadcast very soon. Thanks for joining me tonight. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe to it. And I'll keep this up. And uh, you know, any and on any platform that you're hearing Divorcing Mrs. Claus on right now, go through and give that like button a hit and share it with your friends by all means because there's not too many reality podcasts these days that deal with separation and divorce in a clear way in a very raw way it's not just a topic it's a you know it's it's what's it's what you're living day and night for heaven's sakes. And so you're you're getting to see the very real effects on the individual in my podcast and you're you know you're riding that bit of a roller coaster riding the rails with them as I like to say. And uh and and getting you know things as they happen and and I'm giving you honest feelings. It's it's letting my inner clown come out. And today my inner clown is tranquil. It's very tranquil, in fact. So, anyway, enough of this. I'll let you go. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you on the next episode of Divorcing Mrs. Claus. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you soon.